I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly and with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please. Also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God, I am a child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please, forgive me. I forgive you. Thank you, Lord.
Ugh. Hiya, Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood and, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? They look like monsters to you? <gasps> Don't worry, it's just a joke. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it! You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this.
Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so, she has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but... Does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it.
For the two of you to die, that would be nice. Then I could relax. When did you stop believing in God? God lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my own way. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare, just like less than 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Not that again! Who do you think you are claiming to know God's will? Go home, Vincent! Home? This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way... Then you'll kill me. Well... Well... The guest of honor has arrived. Let's get this party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch! This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. You go to hell! What did you do? Uh, nothing important. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Alyssa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. But I thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a god born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Happy people can be so cruel. Is it so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering? Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only God can save us. And save you too? Happy ending?
If you feel so guilty about it, why don't you go to hell? Heather, use the seal. Vincent? The seal of Metatron? Now your stupid dream is over. Oh, that's just a piece of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. Looks like God didn't make it. Stop! God is... Claudia! Oh. 
gonna kill you!
Is that the end? I guess it's time to roll the credits. Still alive. Heather, what the? What Heather? What? Oh. <laughs> oh. Just a joke. Oh. <laughs> You've got terrible taste. I'm sorry. <laughs> Heather, did you? You don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl, the name my father gave me. You gonna let your hair color go back too? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? <laughs>